Cars24 is like India's largest used car platform. Um, you know, we do a lot of buying of cars. We know we transact thousands of cars, and you know, helping people sell their cars in India, tens of thousands. In fact, we also send a huge amount of cars that we sell at our 300 plus retail hubs across India, and not just India. We also operating in the uh, in the UAE as well as in Australia. So it's like a wide scale of you know consumers that we are serving right and at the same time we also help them with financing and just helping them you know make the used car journey good uh, in terms of why voice matters is 70 percent of our consumers who are buying their cars are like first time consumers right it's, it's a big decision for them and um, you know our motto is like better drives better lives we have like countless emotional stories about what it means for a person to buy a car as well as sell a car there's been new, numerous you know, people who come back to us say, you know, can you just give us our car back? It's just like a part of our family. Uh, majority of our sales and conversions happen over someone from our team guiding someone over calls, right? We do tens of millions of conversation a month, right? Whether it be from helping people discover their perfect car, whether it be sales and negotiation on helping people find the right price, maybe explaining them the terms of their loans, right? It's every touch point of our journey is built on conversations. Voice is what is built our entire business, right? And it's been a crucial crux of it. And it's, I would say, as important to us as our tech and product. So it's just driving our entire business. I think roughly 30% of our permanent workforce is engaged in these direct consumer conversations, right? Multiple stakeholders, but direct conversations. But um, what we have seen is, you know, if you're doing so much transactions, there's a lot of fatigue that happens. There's a lot of regional nuances that are coming into the play. You're not just serving a local region, you're serving different villages, you're serving different regions of India, each with its own you know, nuances. So the problem happens is when you're small, you're a startup, it, it works out great. But when you scale up to multiple countries, multiple regions, it just becomes very difficult for us to manage everything. Right? It just becomes very difficult for us to ensure that you know every person that's involved in the process is giving a quality experience to our consumer. Right? And how do we ensure that we're actually listening as well? I think that was very important for us. How are we actually listening to our consumers? They're talking to us so much. Are we actually listening? So these are the two challenges that we face, ensuring that our conversational quality is always up to the mark, that Every conversation is polite, it's insightful, it's helpful, it's not too draggy. And second is whatever our consumer is talking to us about, it's something that drives us, like we're consumer obsessed, or customer obsessed. So these were the two challenges that we have faced, is how do we actually solve these two problems at scale? 70% first time car buyers, they come into the store, you know, they meet some of our car advisors, like we call them on the sales on force, that help people make a decision, help them to test drives. We do like tens of thousands of test drive a month across different cars and the biggest challenge is we don't have uni unique cars every car even if it's the same make model it's different because it's a used car right every car has its different you know maintenance every car has its different damages nuances everything so we said you know we have 300 plus retail hubs that you know people come in to have a conversation with you know do test drives that last like 60 to 90 minutes and the first one of what we wanted to solve is we want to generate insights you just want to listen to our consumers and the the challenge became how so uh, the one thing that we did notice is all of our car advisors have tablets in their hands so that was the first one that hey we don't need to deploy mics and expensive setups at each and every hub they already have it. Let's just turn on the mics and record whenever they start a test drive. We have everything and we just started recording that conversation. Now came the second biggest challenge is when we started streaming it, A, the conversations were 90 minutes long. Second is these are open mic conversations. So it's not just picking up a conversation because in a test drive, the people are moving around, they're going around the car, there's a lot of distance, there's a lot of noise. There's people talking in the background. Sometimes there's like a radio sound as well. Then at the, on top of that, there's, uh, you know, accent nuances, people can switch languages quite often. It was just like a mess. Like even if I gave it to a human, the biggest problem is I cannot listen to, you know, tens of thousands of hour conversation a day and with so much noise. So we looked at 11 lab scribe, um, you know, we explored a lot of these speech to text, um, you know, providers out there because we knew the answer is going to be AI. While a lot of the providers worked some somewhere or the other, but nothing worked blanket, right? We had we would have had to customize everything. But with the release of Scribe, what we did is we started, uh, you know, transcribing all these conversations, and we noticed two things. A, it was super fast, like processing a 90-minute conversation. 
um, and these conversations are constantly coming to us, it was incredibly fast, right? And it just kind of gave us these insights very quickly. The second thing was, uh, it used to capture you know, transcription of a consumer identifying which consumer is speaking, even with a lot of noise. And it was beautiful. And, and one of the best things is it worked so well that it was actually even capturing, you know, conversations in the background and labeling them as background noise. So, and when we passed all of these transcriptions to an LLM, we actually found, it actually found it more useful, right? It stopped hallucinating less. Um, the error rate was very significantly low compared to even such a noisy environment. So. All of that was how we kind of saw it. So as soon as we added transcription, uh, you know, we asked business, hey, you have all of this transcript, what do you need an AI or an LLM to kind of generate insights out of it? And they went crazy with it. They started generating like hundreds of different touch points out of it. That was the, you know, first biggest part that we did. The second biggest part is, like I said, um, our sales happens, like 60% of sales happens through some sort of assisted person, you know, getting there. Problem was, stat was very long, you know, people used to get tired. It Because of incentives, a lot of consumers wanted to do a zero-sum game. There's like a lot of moving players that happened there. So we said, you know, what doesn't complain, what works really good, what is like, is gonna follow your instructions to the T, it's just an AI voice agent. So that is where we started leveraging, um, you know, AI voice agents from Eleven Labs. We found that the realism in the voice and the voice modulation was something that our consumers received very well. Uh, and of course, you know, we started deploying them very quickly. Um, and what we also found is that, um, you know, since we do so many different types of calling, like 50 plus calling teams, different, doing different types of callings, we figured out that, you know, just one or two engineers are not going to be able to do it blanket across the org. So we, when we started rolling out the agents builder platform to our business folks, right, it was intuitive enough that they were also able to build calling agents themselves. So that just helped us also um, you know, deploy these agents across the board. So we went wide, went, went quick. Everyone was able to experiment and we actually saw really good, you know, um, numbers. So what we did is when we deployed, um, you know, AI agents in those, what we actually saw is that our lead qualification percentage improved by 10, 20 percent, um, you know, our consumer's average duration of conversation increased as well. That means people were actually engaging quite a lot. So I think these were the two bits that we saw, right? But we saw some cost reduction and, you know, operational efficiency out of it. But at the same time, we also saw our business grow it as well. And maybe we saw that, hey, this is just very natural. And, and, you know, of course, we are trying to kind of replicate it. For us, what matters is quality, right? Like I said, we're serving so many regions, so many accents, so many languages in the subcontinent and even outside India, right? You're doing so much. When we looked at other providers that were providing voice, whether it be for the speech to text part or TTS part, what we saw is they excelled at some subset of it. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to build 10 different solutions, work with 10 different folks to kind of build one solution that kind of works. What we saw with 11 Labs is that um, 11 Labs used to give us a product that worked across the board, right? So that was one. Second is, when we are choosing a partner to work with, our majority of it is, can they keep up with our velocity? Because we are so much investing in growth, we are you know, a hyper-focused team that just wants to move, move, hyper-experiment, run 10 different experiments in parallel. If our partner has to kind of, you know, go through a red tape every time to help us, to kind of, uh, you know, has to take 10 different decisions to just help us out. It's not something that's going to work for us, even though if they can have the best product in the world, it's slowing us down. So that's one of the problems that we first see it is, can they keep up with our pace? And what we saw with 11 Labs is that it was very proactive, like working was very collaborative, and it was not that, hey, we are the client, we say and they do. But it's like what we found is we co-built quite a lot. That even if we were not kind of reaching out, they were saying, hey, do you need some help? You know, I, I noticed that there's a spike in your traffic. Are you guys scaling up? So if, so those kind of nuances, you know, really helped us kind of choose across the board. And uh, the third is the quality of innovation, right? Um, the AI world is evolving so rapidly. You know, it's very hard to keep up. Every week there's a new model. Every week there's some new breakthrough that's happening. So you also need a provider that has their own velocity, that's able to deliver on that quality of the pace at which the industry is moving. So those were like the, these three parameters, right? Quality, velocity, as well as innovation, that based on which we kind of decided that hey, Eleven Labs is the right partner to work with. And you know, it's it's been great working with you guys. 
for our on ground intelligence uh, because we could like listen to customer conversations and we were able to kind of you know figure out a lot of these problems so one is like i said we were able to detect mechanical issues in particular cars so we were able to identify hotspots uh, where refurbishment was a problem so you know we got 9 10% improvements in our refurbishment costs um, second is now if you're listening to consumers and making decisions backwards on that uh, our customer satisfaction rate go up right like 20 30% in certain cases we saw the csr rate improve when we made good decisions based on consumers as well um you know and growth as well like i said um you know our salesmen our car advisors that had 18% conversion versus some that had 28 30% conversions individually the people who were back right we actually could give them directed feedback and actually help them move from let's say 18 not to 28 because that's our best folks but you know we could help them move from 18% conversion to 20 22 23 24 gradually so those kind of things do compound it if you have the best people on the floor your overall average conversion does go up like 10 20% so um you know th- it's not just that we were able to listen to a consumer it just directly gave us impact in our business as well would i recommend lens absolutely right i mean um if if i was a betting man in this ai game for voice i would definitely bet on 11 labs it's just that uh, you know 11 labs is a trend setter they have the best models um, and you know they're not following trends that hey someone beat a benchmark and they are following up they are actually setting these benchmarks for us so you know of course if anyone kind of really wants to build successful voice ai solutions i think 11 labs is the partner to go for